What is up guys? My name is Kegernaut, but just call me Keg. And today I'm actually going to show you guys how to set up my LVI. Now, I've gotten a million questions asking me how is it that I set up my LVI. And since I did my week or video, I thought that I'd also do this LVI video so you guys can have just the full package and you guys can see everything. So let's open up the LVI. And first things first, actually, let me tell you guys, uh, this isn't the only way to do it. What you guys see here is what's going to come right out of the box with LVI. And the way that I set mine up is not the only way to do it. You guys can change things that you want. You guys can, uh, you, you know, you guys can completely disregard what I'm saying and go to somebody else's guide and, and take theirs because maybe theirs you like better. But I like the way mine is and it kind of is, is a general kind of setup. A lot of people might have something similar with bartender and, uh, other sorts of add-ons, but this I, this is what I do with LVI. So I just thought that I'd let you guys know it's not the only way to set it up. And well, let's just get right into it. So this is what we have standard. This is what's going to come right out of the package. Uh, this is LVI. So let's open up LVI and press install. So you guys can see this is what's going to happen when you first log in. So let's press continue. Set up the CVARs. Set up the chat. I like to pick class because then it shows the color here but you could also pick dark if you want the black or you could just pick classic for the gray I like the class so I do that high resolution because we're not playing in 2004 skip this icons only and then press finished that's going to reload your, your UI and officially get you started but there is one more step that we're going to have to do if you guys do have LVY shadow and light which I highly recommend that you download then this is just going to help uh, configure everything so let's go to shadow and light and if you guys have it downloaded then you're going to pop up with this screen so let's press enable armory mode enable afk mode move blizzard frames skip this last part and then press finished and once again that's going to reload ui your ui and then we can get started and customize everything so after this is done loading here we go i'm going to open up lvi and i'm just going to quickly click over these because to be honest, guys, I leave a lot of this untouched. The main thing is my action bars and my unit frames. But we do click vendor gray so we don't have to constantly press everything when we're trying to sell and clean up our bags. I'm just going to click through this so you guys can see all the settings. And you guys can pause so that you guys can, can keep up. But I'm just going to click through these so you have everything available to you. Shadow and light. I'm going to click through this. So I can show you everything, not going to spend too much time. That's the same. Skins, that's what that looks like. And then about help, that's not what we need. So action bars. First things first, That's the action bars are here down at the bottom. Now, these obviously aren't what I like to see. So what I do is actually enable the micro bar. So we have this uh, character window up here. I don't know why they get rid of it, but we need that. Then go through each bar here and press enable and then press backdrop. Enable and backdrop. And the reason why we do this is one, because I like how the backdrop looks, but also we need to see all of these bars so that we can make a decision on what we're going to do with them. So after we've enabled everything, let's click up here, toggle anchors, and all this stuff pops up. Now, you can move a lot of stuff around with this. You can move the party frames. If you don't want it on the left, you want it on the right side, you can move that there. If you don't want your the talking head when uh, you know a world quest pops up, you can move that more up here. I just keep it in the middle here. Uh, focus frame, I actually move over. And before we can set up our action bars, we actually need to move our health out of the way so that we can see. Boss button, I leave up here towards the middle. And then our pet frame, I'll move over here towards the left corner. And target of target frame, we could just put over there. And then our bar one is actually going to, everything's going to be anchored to it. So let's just drag these out so that they won't get anchored. And then we can start. So now bar one, I like to have this relatively small because I will be using weak auras for all my classes. So I, I leave these buttons quite small so I don't have to really pay attention to them. But let's just take this like I'm doing my uh, Demon Hunter, where I don't have any action bars available to me. So before we do anything, this is all going to be untouched. The size of these are going to be untouched, but I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. So bar one, button size, that's what's going to change what these look like. So we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller. 
I'm just going to leave it at stock 32. The button spacing, that's going to spread these out more or keep them condensed. I'll just keep it at two. The amount of buttons, we have 12 buttons on the bar here. We can shorten this so we only see six or three, whatever we want to do, buttons per row. So we'll have 12 buttons in a row. We can make it 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever, and just change how it looks. And that's how we do that. Alpha as well. I believe this is just going to help fade this out. This is basically opacity, but alpha is also what it's called. And then that's it. So let's put bar 2 at the bottom because that's how I have mine set up. And then put bar 1 right on top of it. And then bar 3 and bar 5. Bar 5 we're actually going to keep here. And bar 4 we're going to put and we're going to dismount the pet bar because some classes do need a pet bar. Let's make the pet bar and fix this real quick. Uh, buttons per row, let's make that 6. And the button size, let's make that around 20 because we don't really need to have that in the way. And just leave it right there so everything pet related is down here in the corner. Now, bar 4, we won't need that because we don't have that many buttons. Bar 6, we additionally won't need that because we don't have that many buttons. And then where did bar 5 go? Bar 5 is still up here. So bar 5... This might look, this might show up the way that, uh, out of stock. So, this is actually where I put my mounts and my food and my hearthstones and everything. And I leave the same amount of buttons, because that's what, how much I want, and make this two buttons per row. And then I'll toggle anchors and smack that right on the side over there and leave that be. Now, I could have it like this, or if I just want some extra screen real estate, I could put mouse over so I don't actually see anything but when I put my mouse over it you know what it says then these will show up and that's basically what I do with my action bars down here let's move bar 3 into position and then for bar 1 2 and 3 we're gonna put mouse over so bar 1 bar 2 bar 3 mouse over and there we go now we actually have no action bars on our screen and that's how it looks but when we want to see it we just hover over it real quick but just to just to keep it here so everybody else can see, we'll just leave him like that. Additionally, with bar 5, we'll do that too. Um, now we go to buffs and debuffs. Buffs and debuffs uh, is unchanged for me, but these are the settings anyway. Real quick, just go over them. And these buffs and debuffs will actually change what is up here on the in the top right corner. These buffs and debuffs. Just so you guys should know. Now, the chat. The chat I also leave untouched these are all the settings real quick so you guys can see now data bars the data bars are things like uh, the experience the honor the artifact reputation things like that so while I'm leveling XP bar stays on the left over here but the artifact bar you guys will see that I have it in the in the bottom down here next to my action bars so let's find where it is it's right there and then we're going to make actually let's Take the artifact bar off of this, leave the honor bar up there real quick, and then move the artifact bar into position right up against the chat. And then we're going to make the width, the size of the chat to the action bar. And that needs to be just a little bit smaller. One more pixel should do it. 345. That works fine. And then we need to change the height. So the height is going to be roughly about the size of this black bar that goes all the way across the bottom. We're going to make it around the same size. I believe it's around 20 or 21. And that looks that looks pretty good. Let's actually just round it out to 20 real quick. Oh, made that 220. My bad. All right. So that's good. But we're not done yet because the artifact bar actually goes on the left side. So let's move that over real quick press lock and you can see maybe there's a tiny bit of space under it so we're gonna click off sticky frames and just drag it right down to the bottom so it's forced right up against the bottom of the screen and that's what that's gonna do and then additionally instead of it being vertical we're gonna click horizontal and then everything should be done now for reputation we're gonna do the same thing just on the right side so let's enable this real quick and then this was width 345 and height 20. So width is 345 and the height is going to be 20. 
All right, then we're going to put this at the bottom of the screen and then press this to horizontal and then reverse fill direction so it grows from the chat to the action bar. The honor, I just leave right here on the side of the left trade chat. And there you go. Should be fine. Um, and that's it. Data text. Okay, so data text is all the stuff you see on the left and right side of the chat and also on the minimap. Um, let's go to panels and the small panels that's begin with the minimap. On the minimap left right here, I like to see the system. So that's going to show, well, that's the left, my bad. On the right side, I like to see the system. I'm sorry. And that's going to show the FPS that you're playing with and also the MS, your connection to the server, so to speak. On the left side, I actually like to see the time. And if you click the time, you see the calendar pops up. Now let's go to the left chat. On the left, I like to see the guild. On the middle, I like to see friends. And then on the right side, I do loot spec. So if I left click here, I, it shows these specializations. I'm enhancement right now. So if I click elemental, it's gonna change my spec to elemental. If I right click, it's gonna change my loot spec to whatever I want, elemental, whatever. You guys should know what that is. But that's how that works. So why isn't it going away? All right. Um, Right chat. On the right side, I like to see durability on the left. Where is it? Durability. In the middle, I like to see gold. And then on the right side, I like to see Skata or or weak auras, whatever you guys want. Um, you click this at the bottom, weak auras will pop up. If you put Skata, Skata will pop up, whatever you guys want. Additionally, the gold here, the gold, if you hover over it, it's going to show all the characters that you have on the server. It's going to show the amount of golds that you have and then add it up at the bottom. You could also use, if you're using Shadow and Light, you can do SNL Currency. And what that's going to do is it's going to show a much detailed uh, overview of your currency. Um, it's going to show all your characters like usual, how much you have on the Horde, on the Alliance, total, and then Dungeons and Raids, Miscellaneous. It's going to show everything. Basically, everything that happens on the Currency tab, it's going to pop up. But I don't need all this stuff because I'm not playing in Cataclysm. I'm not playing in Mizipandaria. I don't need Miscellaneous. None of that. I don't need it. I'm not playing in Wad. I don't need that. So why do I have it show here? As far as I know, I can't really change that. So I'm just going to leave it on stock gold. Now, one more thing. The micro bar does belong in the top left over there. Okay, so... We're done with the data text. Maps, I leave unchanged as well. But here are the settings, just in case. Garrison report, calendar, mail, LFGQ, instance, challenge mode, leave vehicle, open ticket. That's it. So nameplates. I don't actually use LVI's nameplates. Um, let me just reload real quick so it shows what it looks like. I actually use KUI nameplates. And I'll put that on the screen right now, and there will be a link in the description that you guys can download it. Um, if you have both of those enabled and you don't like how it looks, because obviously it looks kind of ugly right now, then we'll just go into LVI, go to nameplates, and then press, and then click enable so that it goes off. You guys can change that how you want. Um, there's different functionality, but the way that I set my LVI up does not include their stock nameplates, so I'm not going to show you guys that part. Now we go to skins. Skins, you just leave everything checked here. Uh, alert frames and quest choice, you could just leave that by itself. Nothing, don't touch this. Tooltip. So tooltip, I also don't leave this touched at all. But here is the settings anyway. And now let's go to unit frames. So unit frames is, is one of the big things about my UI that you guys might uh, actually really, really, really care about. So I click smooth bars. I just like how that looks. And then we go to player frame. So player frame, actually, we're going to increase the height because I want this to be a bit taller. So let's leave it around right there. And then the width looks about the, the same. But we're also going to keep this in tandem with our target frame. So whatever we do to our player frame, we're mostly going to want to keep in line with our target frame. So player frame is width 270 and height 69. Let's make that 69 as well. All right. And then... We're going to go back to our player frame and then go down to power. Now power is this bar down here. It's showing me my mana. If I click it off, it won't show me at all. 
that'll show you your rage, your energy, your focus, whatever class that you're playing, that's what's going to show up. I'll leave it on because if I'm playing Resto, I'm going to want to know my mana, but usually I'll keep it off. Then I go to name down here and you can type in whatever you want. So I'll just leave that. You can press OK or you can press Enter and it'll show up in the middle. To make it how it looks like on mine, you go to the text position here and then press top left and just leave it right there. Then we go from name down to portrait, enable this, and that's what it's going to look like by default. We're actually going to click overlay and then we're going to go, do we change this? No, we don't. Now, I'm sorry guys, I'm not sure exactly why mine isn't working. I tried this before, but it's not changing anything. And I really have no clue what's happening, but just to let you guys know what's up. The camera distance scale, you see right here how it's really zoomed in on my face? The camera distance scale, when you, when you make it smaller, it's actually going to zoom out a little bit. So you can see more of like the chest or your shoulders, you can see more of that. Model rotation right now it's on zero. I usually, I think I keep this all the way around 360. So it's just a slightly better angle. It might not look like it, but uh, trust me, if you guys do uh, have that, then it's going to change a little. But let's just leave it untouched because it's not working. Um, PVP buffs, okay, so buffs. Let's go back on the mount. And that's a buff gonna be shown there. I don't really look at my buffs because if there's anything important, I have a week or for it, or um, you know, I just look down real quick and make sure that I have it active. But uh, I'll keep the buffs relatively small. If I can find out, okay, size override. Right now it's zero, so it's gonna be stock. But if we take it off of zero, it's gonna go really, really, really small. And we're just gonna leave it at about 25. That looks good. 25, you can make it 30. If, if you want, make it a little bit smaller. That actually looks a bit better. But then we'll go to debuffs and make this actually quite larger. And I don't know how to make a debuff appear if I'm not like attacked or anything. So, um, but I do know that I want it to be bigger than my buffs because debuffs are a lot more important to me. So we're actually, if this buff was size 30, I'm actually going to make the debuffs 40. We'll keep it like that. Um, 40. You can make this bigger or smaller depending on what you want. Now, uh, anchor point, top right. That's where they're going to be. That's very important. Just the debuffs are on the top right. Um, now we go to target frame. Okay, so target frame, we are going to have the power. Let's show what the target frame looks like. The power, we can enable that. If you want to see their mana, their rage, whatever. Let's actually get the target frame out of here. Um, and then on the name, we can have that. It's already default. I don't change it. I leave it that way. On the portrait, I also enable this and press overlay. And then I'll, I'll fiddle with this and keep the settings around the same for both of them. But I will change the model rotation so it looks like he's actually looking to the left towards me. So they're not both looking to the right. So I don't know why it's not working here, like I said before, but just fiddle with that so it looks good to you. And then we're going to go to buffs. Now buffs, for my target, I don't need that much information of it, but I do like to see uh, what buffs that they have available sometimes. So um, I'm actually going to keep the buffs kind of small, but around 30, just like my other target uh, player frame. The debuffs are definitely going to be very large. Actually, I think I could just keep these the same. So I had 40 here. Target frame, we're going to make this 40 as well. And then we're going to put this on the top left so that they show up over here in this side. I believe that's where it's going to be. I can't really test it. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to, how to change that. Actually, yes, I can. I could pop heroism. There we go. And now I should have a, a debuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do, guys. The debuff's not showing up. But, uh, yeah, so the debuffs are going to be on the left side. Buffs are on the right side. Uh, nothing too much. The, I also leave the cast bar off on both of them because I have a different add-on that handles that. 
class bar for the player frame, I also get rid of that because I don't need it because I'm going to be using a weak aura. Aura bars I already left off. Okay. And then focus frame. Let's make this my focus and reposition my health bars. So I want to keep these the same. So leave them roughly like that. Negative 254. Make this 254. Oh, what? I don't know. I don't know why that happened, really, to be honest. And then on our Y, we're going to keep it 171. That looks about right. Then our focus frame, we're actually going to put right up here in the corner. Now, focus frame, I want the health to be higher. So we're going to increase that by just a little bit. We're going to hide the power. Whoops. We're going to hide the power because I just need to see their health. This is what I'm going to do when I'm tanking. I put usually my co-tank as my focus so I can see their debuffs. So their debuffs need to be very, very large. So buffs, I'm actually going to disable. And then debuffs, I'm going to enable. Put this on the bottom left. And then make this... 45 actually so I can really keep track of those stacks on uh, Ursoc or anything else um, and then target of target frame I actually disable I don't know why that was active and then we'll go filters plugins profiles credits I believe that's everything guys so more or less this is what you're gonna get when you're playing with my setup in clear focus and I'm going to go over another video and tell you guys exactly how to set up some weak auras. I set this up real quick, just a maelstrom bar because that's all I wanted to know. Um, but I'm going to go in with my very limited knowledge of Enhancement Shaman. I'm actually going to go through and show you guys how to make your own weak auras really quick um, and how to import mine uh, that I use on my Guardian Druid and everything. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next video.